50 years. 50 years of Griffin football here at Missouri Western. Relatively, this program has been quiet since 2012. A few winning seasons and a bowl game win, but nothing outstanding. Not yet. Not yet. In its 50th year, this program was ready to make some noise. 2018 saw Western accomplish a 7-5 record in its first winning season since 2015. 2019, season opener, Griffins feel ready to make the next step. Week 1, Spratt Stadium, Northwest Missouri State Bearcats. Who else? First offensive play of the season for Western? Boom. White Steigerwald, new starting quarterback, 46-yard pass to Shamar Griffith. Western's in business, right? Well, sometimes old habits die hard against the Bearcats. Okay, don't panic. You're down, but you have a new gunslinging quarterback and the best kept secret in MIAA, freshman kick returner Trey Vallis. Now, if you paid attention to the Western Wind podcast before this game, you might have seen this coming. Fat chance the Bearcats listen. Should have listened. By the way, Twitter handle is at Western Windup. The Griffin offense is stopped on this drive, but remember that gunslinger part from earlier? Yeah. Coach Matt Williamson has that gene too. Fourteen to seven ball game at that point. Later on in the third quarter, MWSU cuts it to a thirty-one to twenty deficit thanks to this. Stagger Wall to freshman receiver Devon Holmes, twenty-eight yards, gunslinger. Gonna see a lot more plays like this later on the season. Stargwell rushes in from three later on in the fourth quarter to take the lead, but when Northwest makes plays like this at will. It's tough to win. After being down 20-7 at one point and leading at another in the fourth quarter, the Griffins left home with an L and looked to bounce back in week two against a ranked Fort Hayes State team in enemy territory to keep their heads above water. Luckily for the Griffins, Bouncing back is Coach Williamson's motto. Hey, start bringing it up! Wyatt Steiger fan. All right, guys, listen up right now, okay? We talk about all these different things. Talk about all the different things, the little things that we have to do. We have to play all four quarters. We have to play and have at the end of the game, if it's overtime, it doesn't matter. How we play is how we play every snap. You guys understand that? We cannot come out slow. We cannot finish slow. I talked about that today. You guys understand that? Yes, sir. We have to play together and play as a unit and make this happen. Don't wait till the second quarter. Set the tempo now. Take control of the game and don't let them freaking breathe. Get this done together. Let's go. Three, seven, three. One, two, three, three. Let's go. Let's go. Set the tempo early? That's an understatement. Williamson fired his team up with a bang, and the Griffins responded with a bang of their own. It also kind of helps when you outweigh your opponent by 85 pounds. Gain some weight if you want to play a on Creighton. The defense found its mojo against Fort Hayes for a second straight year, and the offense showed why seven Griffin starters earned all-conference honors. What's this, an encore from Steigerwald? Well, the price of admission? It's only a dime. <laughs> Mark Elsmith tops off the offense and that's all she wrote in Hayes. Griffin's up to the Tigers once again. It's almost like a trend at this point. In Stagwell, well, he's about as humble as the pie his linemen eat in the offseason. I feel good tonight especially because our line just handled theirs. Like I didn't, I think there was one time I got hit all night. So, um, you know, we got the best line in the country. I've been saying that since the first. And uh, they definitely handled it tonight. Next up, a date with the Central Missouri Mules at Spratt Stadium. Big weight. Well, that's only the first one. We got many more to go.
Please be ready to play today, baby. Please be ready to play today. Okay. This is not the start Isaiah Cobra asked for. This isn't the start anyone in gold asked for. The Griffins needed something, anything. 31 zip, 626 left in the third quarter. They needed something, and their answer? The first true freshman All-American in school history. Seven Griffin points and 25 yards later, Isaiah Colbert finally got what he asked for. Steigerwald to Holmes, gun slinger, tie game. <laughs> However, for the second straight home game, even with all the momentum and all the south side and north side of St. Joseph, luck is not a friend of the Griffins. Seems really close. Um, tired saying that. But I love every single one of them. I got their back. Um, I will get this fixed. You know, this coaching staff will get it fixed. And we're going to win a lot more football games. Your record is one and two. What do you do? I want you guys to understand this is obviously a huge opportunity, but it's just one opportunity. It's an opportunity to play the game of football again. Hey, let's go, Devin. Hey, let's go, Dad. Yes, sir. After mining for gold in the playoffs all season, that gold will have to wait for now. Six straight wins. First win against Pitt State since 2012. A dream at a playoff berth, gone. Two heartbreaking losses with the best of LIAA. And upset later, Western has to settle for taking out some frustration on Lincoln. What do the Griffins get for that? A phone call invitation to the Live United Bowl for a second straight year and a chance at nine wins for the first time since 2012. A true two for one special. We on the other hand are tremendously thrilled to play a team in an outstanding program from the MIAA in Missouri Western. Yeah, the Griffins are excited to play Henderson State the Live United Bowl too, especially because they went and did this. And with 16 total Griffins in the all-conference team, first-team offensive lineman Hayden Eninger, and third-team conference quarterback Wyatt Stargold, you know his name, ended their collegiate careers with a W, a 9-3 record, and a bright path for all current and future Griffins. What, what to come is, you know, we're really proud to be here at, at this, this bowl game, but I don't think you're going to see us back here. I think you're going to be seeing us in, in the playoffs these next few years. You know, coming in, that's why a lot of us, Five year, uh, a lot of our five year guys, that's why we came here is because we won those eight or nine games a year. And coming in, it was a shell shock, man. We, we didn't really know what to do when we weren't at the top of the conference and we struggled there for three years. So knowing that we didn't make the playoffs and that was our, our last goal, Coach Brown always shows us a slideshow every week after every game. And, and that was the last goal that we didn't accomplish was uh, the playoffs. But knowing that 
um, we got where we are and, and leaving this place better than it was is, is really the ultimate goal and I can't be proud enough to call myself a Griffin. Obviously everything's a stepping stone and, and your hard work and all the all the commitment effort our kids put into, they're seeing those numbers stack up. You know, they're seeing the four, they're seeing the seven. Now we're going to nine. So next thing after nine, a single digit is a double digit. And that's where we're going to be heading uh, for next season. And uh, it's just those progression through our in the culture that we're creating at Missouri Western. And there's a lot more to come. Um, it does feel great. Nine sounds so much better than eight. Uh, but it's uh, it's it's it was fun. It was a great experience. And. Uh, and we're going to miss a lot of these kids. There are, there are a, lot of, a lot of special kids on this team, and we're really excited about our future, but we're definitely going to miss them. Got to fill them in as soon as we can and start moving on up.